the first problem you're trying to solve is time theft amongst clients. What that is, is when a client purposely decreases hours worked from a consultant or an employee. We have found that the 44% of employers are prone to commit time theft against their employees. However, this is only much more common with physical timesheets. Thus, we feel that using electronically submitted timesheets is much more safer to avoid time theft. The second problem we are trying to solve are timesheet errors. Through our conducted research, we have identified that 91% of businesses struggle with timesheet errors on a weekly basis. This can be due to the following reasons. reasons. Failure by employees to log hours correctly or uh, bad system design. Due to these things, an employee pay could decrease because if, the, if an employee has logged incorrect hours, they will not be paid for the hours they have worked or it could cause revenue loss for FTM if additional hours are added to the employee's timesheet. Lastly, another problem we are trying to solve is the lack of communication between clients and consultants. Although this is not an IT problem, this can lead to less hours worked and a lower pay. This can happen uh, when a consultant may have worked additional hours and the client is told by the consultant that they had to work those hours. However, the client could have not noted them down. This isn't a purpose time theft, it simply could have been forgotten by the client. Why may FDM possibly need this application? Well, first we want to ensure that every hour that a consultant has worked is logged correctly. This is because we want to ensure that the consultant is paid for every hour they have worked. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, it is more important than ever that an employee is paid for every hour they have worked. Secondly, we want to avoid any timesheet errors that may arise. As we have discovered previously, this may lead to pay, uh, employees being overpaid or underpaid for the work and even revenue loss for FDM. This is because if an employee, if as um, FDM has 3,500 consultants worldwide, if a couple of hours are added to the pay, millions can be lost as a result. For our proposed solution, we want to make a website application for FDM. Now we want to talk about the features we want to implement into our proposed solution that aids to solve the problems we have stated previously. The first feature we want to implement is prompts before submission of timesheets. This is to mitigate the fact that as an employee can enter the wrong details into a timesheet, so just before they do submit a timesheet, the system will make them check if they have submitted the right hours, the right day, and put additional information into the notes section if they are claiming for any additional hours. Secondly, we want a feature that will enable clients to preload jobs for consultants. We aim to reduce confusion of hours worked and details regarding the job they are undertaking. Lastly, we would like to create an easy to navigate graphical user interface and also make the timesheet submission process quick and easy. This is all to ensure that we reduce timesheet errors for FDM. For the customers and users, we have identified three types of users, the clients, the consultants, and the administrator. Now, the clients are the users that are going to be using the timesheets on a recurring basis after the employees have filled them out so that they can evaluate the working hours and the pay of the employees. And the client should find the website implementation of the timesheet very useful. One, it can't be lost because it's always online stored in the database uh, on our website platform. Two, they can access the website anywhere and anytime, which means that they can have easy access to the database at all times and it allows them to update the working hours constantly. And it allows them three to store loads of timesheets in an archive so that they can always access the old timesheets if they need to, which also allows them to compile and accumulate long-term data, the client should be able to use a smartphone and a computer comfortably. They should be able to access websites from the smartphone and computers comfortably so that they can view and edit information on it. And they should be fluent in reading timesheets to ensure the data on it is correct. Now, within the clients, we know that there are sub-users of clients. One is a consultant line manager and two, the finance teams. The consultant line manager is a sub-user of client because they are the clients that are dealing with the cons 
consultants and their working hours, the finance team is a sub-user of clients because they are processing the timesheets once it has been approved and evaluated by the consultant line manager. The second group will be the consultants. Now the consultants will be the users who use the timesheets to fill out the working hours on a recurring basis. Their main use obviously is for them to append their working hours accurately and swiftly onto a system, onto a website such as the timesheet application. They will see the benefit of using this because it will reduce the number of human errors made when inputting working hours. They will be able to view their previous timesheet should they want to if they want to make a claim. But obviously limitations of this will be put in place. They should be competent using a smartphone and computer and they should be able to fill out timesheets on smartphones and computers. The system administrator's main role is to ensure that the website functions, to be able to deal with any problems, should the consultant or client have any and fix any bugs. They also have the role of validating the data on the timesheets and just ensuring that the data integrity is met. And admins should find a lot of positives from the system as maintaining the website will establish a good relationship between everyone in FDM. It will be easier to manage and they will be able to create backups of the timesheets which means that there's less likelihood of data being lost and the admin should have a high level understanding of computers and smartphones. They should understand everything about website creation and the database system behind it and they should also have a basic knowledge of FDM and general working hours and they should be able to deal with any queries requested by any users. The environment. The application will be developed as a web application for the following reasons. There are countless other timesheet web applications available. However, they are considerably more complex and often provide unnecessary features to add to the confusion for the average user. Other existing software are in the form of desktop applications or applications developed for iOS or Android. Although large amounts of users use these platforms, the application would have to be built for each platform which requires greater cost for development and a much longer development process. Native applications are also much less accessible than when compared to web applications. A web-based timesheet application allows for employees to be able to keep track of their hours worked with any device as opposed to having a native application which would only be usable for the device that it has been downloaded on. This means that the timesheet application can adapt to the device that you are accessing it from. Due to this responsiveness, the web application looks and behaves similarly to the native application with the added benefit of being more accessible. This is especially useful since the target audience contains many consultants who will all need to keep track of their hours work, which would be the case for FDM. Having a timesheet in the form of a web application would allow for payroll processing to be much more efficient while at the same time reducing the risk of missed payments. This would be achieved by allowing the software to process employee data that was entered into the system to calculate payments and schedule when they should be sent out automatically. Since this method automates payments, it would allow for employees to be less worried about complications to do with payment that come with manual timesheet processing. For example, one entry from the employee being overlooked by mistake causing them to be paid less. Furthermore, using a web application would allow for a much faster development process than if it were to be developed for desktop, iOS and Android apps. This is due to native applications being platform specific, which would mean that the app would have to be built for each platform, unlike web-based applications, which would be built using HTML, CSS, JavaScript and PHP. This allows web-based applications to be built much faster, even though it would require them to be less advanced in terms of feature set relative to a native application. A web application allows for easy updates and so will update itself. However, native applications are more difficult and expensive to maintain and update as it requires the user to manually install updates. The native application will therefore also need to be updated on every employee device using it, which is time consuming and difficult if the employee has multiple devices. There is also the risk that an update is released to patch a bug and the employee does not update their device in time and is affected by the bug. This risk will be much lower on a web application as it will update itself and the update will be applied to every user. Computing software. There are many web-based applications in the market, but we chose the following three. T-Sheet, Clocky, and Plan Day. All of them provide excellent time tracking ability and similar functionalities such as timesheet, scheduling, time tracking, and reporting. Although they are the best in the market currently, they do come with pros and cons. Firstly, T-Sheet. T-Sheet uh, T-Sheet's major advantages over the other web-based application is that it allows integration with popular accounting tools, customized alerts, and easy-to-use user interface. However, it also comes with some downfalls such as expensive base fee of $100 and $5 per person, mobile app is buggy, and GPS tracking doesn't register employees' arrival time automatically, which Plan Day does. Secondly, Clockify. Clockify's major advantage is that it has customizable reporting functionality. It is free to use and the dashboard provides um, uh, major information via graphs, which is intuitive. On the other hand, Clockify's timer is unreliable, doesn't support importing or exporting data, and no support for invoicing. Finally, Plan Day. Plan Day's, uh, Plan Day's major advantages over the other two web-based applications as follows. 
employee schedule management, user-friendly drag and drop interface, and finally payroll feature that allows the manager to see employee status. Plan days major disadvantages as follows. Reporting doesn't provide all relevant data. Schedule feature doesn't show all employee data. And finally, there is one way to complete every task, which makes it hard to be flexible with. Overall, uh, we can observe that all the current competition uh, does a good job at storing data, providing additional features, <clears throat> but there is a lack of uh, timesheet website in the market. So we aim to collab uh, solidate the fundamental asset of a timesheet website and achieve a reliable future pack time tracker.